Welcome to weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. The first one is the FA Authorization Act has been extended. The DJI Flycart 30 is going to get FCC approval for operation in the US. There's a leak video showing yet another DJI product. And then finally, some upcoming event. Let's get to it. All right, the first thing this week is an extension to the FAA's authorization until December 31st of 2023. Now, if you're not familiar, the FAA Reauthorization Act happens every yeah, so many years. And the last one was in 2018. We have another one in 2023. Kind of gives guidance to the FAA from Congress as to what they should be working on next. Uh, we've seen some drafts, but we haven't seen the final authorization, uh, which was expected to be in the last couple of days, but uh, now it's being pushed to the end of the year. Now, as part of the measure to avoid the government shutdown, the FAA authorization has been extended for uh, 45 days. Unfortunately, this is Congress just kicking the can down the road as uh, the funding will again cease if the government shuts down in November. Now, according to the National Air Transport Air Traffic Controller Association president, he says that the funding must be secured as soon as possible, not 45 days from now, which kind of makes sense. Um, now, I think what's actually going on is that the uh, Congress is trying to find those $50 remote ID modules that uh, they promised. All right, we'll keep you updated if we see any other updates from the FAA reauthorization, but for now, that's what we got. All right, second up this week is the DJI Flycart 30, which is DJI's new delivery drone. We talked about it a while back. And before we go any further, I know some people have been saying that, you know, we talked a lot about DJI and news update, but yeah, quite frankly, uh, at the moment, they are the only company pretty much that is uh, creating new drone and creating new uh, hardware um, other than uh, the scheduled drone that we talked about a couple of weeks ago, there's not been a whole lot of stuff going on from manufacturers other than DJI. So uh, we'll keep talking about them uh, as they come up with new stuff. Uh, DJI reportedly filed with the FCC to allow the drone to operate in the US. We actually were not really expecting that. Uh, the drone is a coaxial quadcopter. So it's got actually eight different propellers uh, with a maximum payload of 40 kilograms, which is roughly 85, 90 pounds and a range of 16 kilometers and 18 minutes of flight time. Uh, it's equipped with DJI's O3, OQSync 3. It's got obstacle avoidance, ADS-BN, and then a built-in parachute. And it looks like it's very capable for those that are gonna be doing deliveries. Now, if we see anything else about this, we'll uh, keep you updated. Next up this week, yep, another DJI thing. This is a DJI Matrice 3D, apparently. Uh, there is a video of the drone coming out from DJI's offices. Uh, the uh, Matrice 3D is rumored to be a M30, the Matrice 30 replacement for the DJI dock with the fixed arm instead of folding arms. Now, it's not that big of a change, but uh, it looks like the sensor payload appear to be the same or very similar to the DJI Mavic 3 Thermal. Uh, the drone also looks like it has uh, SDK mounting location on the top and then a built-in RTK and an obstacle avoidance. So uh, again, cool stuff from DJI and I uh, wish I could talk about more brands doing cool stuff in the industry. So we'll keep you posted if we hear anything else. Uh, before we go, we'll be at the Colorado Drone Air Show this weekend in Fort Collins. That's happening on Friday and Saturday. Uh, the team will be there on uh, Thursday as well setting up and uh, we'll have another team at AZ Drone Fest in Phoenix, Arizona. So if you go to either of these events, come by, say hello to the team. Uh, we got some cool swag and you can see some cool drones. If you'll be in Colorado, we'll be doing some uh, demos of uh, drones. If it's your first time, you can learn how to fly and get your first flying experience. And then we'll have a trust tent. We'll have an educational tent. It's a, it's a whole big event. So that's it. You have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Without saying anything about it, did you watch season finale Murders in the Building? No, not yet. Me either, but I really want to. I'll watch it tonight. You should. And then you. I, we'll have to talk about it next week.